Okay, so when you go to any Avada and you go to the system status and you see an error down here that says PHP max input variables, you need to increase them. So you're going to, you can actually, um, right now it's saying the recommended limit is 1840. Um, you need to increase it. So we're going to click increase and it's going to tell you here are some ways that you can fix it. So one is by the php.ini, one is by the HTC access. I usually typically use the HT access. So here's how you're going to do that. You're going to go to FileZilla and you're going to open up the site and in this case it's a staging site um, in FileZilla. Now I always come over to backups and I always create a new folder in here for the client. So, oh, it's not Nashville, it's actually, it's uh, Nash Interiors. So now I'm going to open up that and I already have it. So um, I'm going to go to staging and here's my originals. So I've already created this. Um, I'm going to go ahead and delete these because they're old. don't need them. You would normally be starting from a fresh version. So in this case I have the staging site and I have the original. I'm just going to go ahead and actually I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'll leave it. So. I'm going to create staging because I have a staging and I have a real site. So I have the staging. Inside the staging folder, I want you to create a folder called original. This is where you're going to save the original versions of what you're doing so that you don't, just in case something you do breaks it, you have the original. So under the original, I'm going to delete what I have. I'm going to pretend like we just created this. Should be open. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to move. I always grab the HT access and the WP config because these are the two files that you're going to edit. Um, you may edit one or the other, but when it comes to this page, if you see any red errors, the PHP memory limit, time limit, max input variables, it's going to have to be fixed within the WP config or the HT access. So grab them, put them in the original folder, then leave the original folder and grab them again and put them in this folder. Now, because we're adding the HT access, if you were to open up this folder, your backups folder, and go to Nash Interiors, you'll notice I can't see the HT access. So how can I edit it? It's actually pretty simple. You're going to actually, oops, cancel. I'm going to click on this and I'm going to click rename, delete the dot at the back, put dot txt, that's it. Now look and it's available. So I'm going to open it up. Okay, so here's your PHP value max input variables is what it's telling you and it showed you 1800 is what it's set to. So if I go here it tells me 1800 is what it's set to. Now if you have nothing in this file prior, that means I've already edited it. I've already edited this to change it to 1800, so I've already done this once before. But typically when you open this, it's going to be nothing. It's not going to have anything in it at all. So you're going to have to come to this page right here and you're going to have to grab this right here. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to replace this. It's telling me it should be 1840, so I'm going to go ahead and make it 1840, whatever. And then I'm going to go File, Save, and then I'm just going to close this. And really quick, you can add that line anywhere in the file? Well, I have added it anywhere, but it breaks it. I always add it after the WordPress. Okay. Because, and I'll show you actually. Let's open it back up and let's see what happens. So if I grab this and let's see, I put it right here instead, right? Now, I've done this before and it broke it. That's why I always put it after the end WordPress. So now that I've saved it, I'm going to go ahead and come here and I'm going to first refresh the directory. So I make sure I have the newest version of this. Then I'm going to go ahead and rename it dot and I'm going to take off the dot txt. And then I'm in the folder. So I'm going to go ahead and click this and move it over here. Make sure you move it over in this section, not on a folder. It's going to ask me, do I want to overwrite it? Okay. Now we're going to come back to the system status page and we're going to refresh it. Cross your fingers that it works. 
and it worked. So it didn't matter in that case that I put it afterwards. I've done it before where it has mattered, but it looks like you're in the green and you're good to go. Now, if you have to change, for instance, the PHP time limit, that's a totally different file. That's going to be the WP config. I want to show you how to do that real quick and the same thing. So I'm going to go back here and I'm going to go into this WP config file and open it. So I've already done that. This is the line you're going to have to add. Now, if this is not the right line, it's going to tell you the same thing. It's going to give you that um, same little page that you're going to have to add right here, or that you're going to have to add. And so it is, this is the wrong one, but this is the wrong one. But if you get that system status is wrong for PHP time limit, it's going to give you the same little page to go to. And when you open it up, it'll give you this piece of code. And this is what it is. So you're going to add this code, add it after the WP cache. I always add it as the second item. Uh, remember that you have the original saved. So if it doesn't work, you might want to change it and put it down here at the bottom or here, somewhere here. So you can put it in these areas if you have to. But I always add it as the second one and it usually works. Although again, the same thing could happen. It could break it. So if it does, use your original to fix it again and then try it again and just follow the instructions. So this is where I change it. You're going to change this number right here to whatever you need it to be. You're going to save it. This file you do not need to rename because it's not HD access. It's just WP config. So once you change this file and you're going to save and then you're going to push it back over here and then you're going to refresh this page again and see if it works. And that's it. Yeah, <laughs> 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 <laughs>